if you ever had desire to create nice AI images, 3D models or videos inside a comfy UI. And only things was stopping you, you don't own any decent hardware to run this on. In this video, we're going to utilize power of the Google Colab with the notepads. As well, we're going to use it ng rog to have it our tunnel set up, private tunnel. And we'll speak about privacy if for some reason you have a hard time to access all the services due to out of country or you want extra layer of security protections, I would recommend to use it VPN. For example, NordVPN. No, this video does not sponsor by NordVPN, but if you appreciate this video, I have an affiliate link down below. If you go to purchase, use it. Nothing from you, but it's give me extra something for my work. Anyway, these are the resources that will be down below for you so you can access. Google Colab is a free developing service where you can run a different scripts. In our case, we will going to work with a Python. Nope, you don't need to write any Python script because I already done for you. So as well, link down below, you can go ahead and download it, a special notebook. And as well as you know, Colab, I'm assuming you probably will have it Google Drive enable. Again, this is all and everything is absolutely free and it's what we're going to use. First, if you're not yet registered, go to the Google, create your drive. If you don't have it, but if you have a Gmail, you probably do have it. Then go on a Colab research or the Google link down below and create your environment. It's easy. It's already there. You just needed a login. The one thing what you also want to log in and going in the ng rog because there will have it a special key. We will need have it to create this little tunnel. You don't need to create it. How say everything will create it for you. Well, now all what you need to do is download a notebook and I will show you what code does. So it's no something weird stuff there okay we'll go line per line so you kind of understand even you're not programmer but it's nice to know what is going on there and then you download this one going file and open that notebook that you downloaded as you're opening you'll notice you have it these blocks okay first what you want to do is go click on a side and connect to the runtime so right now i'm just connecting to a hosted runtime it's open and you can see right here. This is a free tier what I'm using. It does have some limitations, but it's still running. Okay, now this is a code. It's what I wrote for you. So you can go over. Well, let, let's go together over this code and I will explain very fast what it does. So it's kind of help you to understand what's going on here. First, right here, you can see we just installing ComfyUI. Yes, we actually downloading and installing ComfyUI like you will do on your own computer, only on remote. Right here, you also notice we are going to use it CUDA processors because with the um, Colab, we can utilize T4, the NVIDIA chipset, which is very fast. But if you run out, what is happening to me many times, you can run this on CPU, it will be a little bit lower. But again, it's running on the remote server. It does not take any resources from your own computer. Okay, let's go down and look what we have here. Notice here is I map it drive. So what's happening if you just write, Google will go and download it checkpoints, the models, and you notice when it's what happening with the downloaded models over and over. I don't like to do this. Yes, I like to reuse and fast working. So what's happening, you can create, actually it will create for you on your Google Drive after you map it, it will create a special folders with the models, create all of them. And then all what you need to do, upload it models inside your folder. That is easy. Go download the checkpoints there and they're set only once. You don't need to do any more. And system is verified. If they're there, don't need to worry about this. If not, it will download it first model. So at least you can run as you're testing. Okay, next. And notice right here, you see it's have it run run, run. It's all what you do. You start from first, you click on this button and see what's happening. It start installation for us. Don't need to do anything. Just click on this and it's going to download GitHub from GitHub Comfy UI for us. And the right there, start installing. 
Interesting things. You'll notice right here, it's downloading, downloading. Down it does not download on your computer. It's downloading on this, your environment there. So no traffic going between you and this. It's just there. It save you. Okay, after this first step done right here, you can see it is. Let's go down there. Okay, let's see if it's done. It's successful. Nope, it's still running. Okay, now it's done. We verified what we're on CUDA. And you can see right here, it's have a check mark. Two minutes is stuck to load it for this. It's fast. So we'll go next step right here. It's where we're mapping the drives. You remember I told you. So we go ahead, click mapping drives, and it's ask, do allow me connect to my Google Drive? Usually it will ask you as well. Just say yes, connect to my Google Drive. Follow some little instructions, prompts when you verify to what drive you actually want to be connected because you may have it more than one account and now the drive is mapped right here it also was verifying at this time if those directories is not created it will create them for you so how say you don't need work to create them there on a drive the next is actually verified some of our path and map it to our conf uis so let's go ahead click on this and you can see it's what i'm doing i'm just clicking right it's very fast done this so our next step it's when we start loading some um checkpoints and the reason is you can upload it manually it's what we'll show how to do this as well but here it's at least we can load it one sdxl model so at least you can start playing if you do first time and this is a smart system because it's going kind of check and says hey you know what it's already installed on this for first time when you run it will download it and put it model there but just in case you know well next we need to create a special tunnel or run this on a web because if we run just code inside it's run code we have it no ways to accessing we need to create a special open web interface to connect there and for this we're going to actually use it ng rock well, we need kind of access through the API key. Oh, you remember, I told you about a login and register here. On NGROC, all what you need to do, go to your auto token, create if you don't have it one. And right here is my token. Click on a copy and paste inside right here just to replace this one. Put your token and put it your special, I don't know, whatever it will be. I'm just making up right now, but put it there the authorization token then you need it after you put it your token inside you can go ahead and click run okay after you click you should have this resolve that is successful it took and install it so next we actually want to install an imp and this one is for comfy UI manager yes we can install also custom nodes that's what we have right here we will install our own computer manager because it's very useful and easy to use here and again if you need it go ahead click install this may take a little bit to install it on your server but it should be run smooth okay this time you can see it is installed successfully next we did install in Jerog, but now we need to connect open this tunnel so for this reason we're just going and click there and you can see it just create this special tunnel for us so we can open the server what we're going to run it's done all set up right here we have a path don't yet click on this path because we need now start running our server and right here you can see we can configure UI with the normal elements we'll just click run if for some reason you don't have it nvidia like for me i run out of nvidia time well G gpu time it's what happened because it's all free i'm running right here this is maybe come up so in this case only just remove or hide this what i like to do i'll just go and create like this comment out and when it's done you can rerun again on this case it will run only on cpu still run a little bit slow not that much but you can run again okay now click 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 and you see we all ready when you see like this this start running we can go back to this path and click to open this is will open a new page this is just says hey you're going to visit this another side let's click ok and you know what this is look very familiar to you it is 
comfy UI running here. So let's verify what we have it. This is default. If you don't have it, you can always just go ahead and create new or or you have it even more fun. If you're going to workflow, click on browse templates and right here, all of these different templates, which we'll look in a second on some of them. Well, let's first verify it here. We, let's say magic forest. Yes. And we're going to select magic forest. Also look on a model. I don't want to use it flux for this. We're going to use it as the Excel because it's a little bit faster to load it. And because it's SDX model, let's go switch this to 1024 by 1024. It's where we achieve a best resolution because model was trained on this. And now we're ready. Just click run. Notice right here, our model is preloading. First time it's always will take preloading. Um, if you run on CPU only, it may take a little bit longer, but when model already loaded, it's fully ready and it will be running like this for your renders and there you go look we created our image absolutely on the virtual server but this is our model this is we loaded we're running notebook nobody else can access to this except you and if you set vpn it's even become more private for you so you can create your images by the way if you ask a where's images saving, this is a was part of the setting I did for you. So if you go inside the checkpoints, go to the models here and you see comfy UI. go on top comfy UI, and you notice right here. This is some of my crap. Ignore that one, but you will have an output directory like right there. And you can find like these images inside the output directory as well. If you create a video or other things. Well, let me show you even more fun what we can have it. For example, we just look on a basic workflow. What's happening if you use it? Something which you maybe don't have it any models. Example, let's go on workflow. We go to browse template and here let's go click maybe on. I'm just wondering what I have it. Hi dream. Let's go open this one. So I'll go click on this. Notice what's happening here. It's actually common says this models does not found. So you need save and Keep in mind, it's also showing you also locations where they need to do. So you want to go ahead, click on them, downloading on your computer. And after you finish downloading your computer, yes, I understand this is a little bit extra step. But after this, you need to go to your Google Drive, go to your models folder and inside the models folder, you need to put it where specify like in a text encoder or checkpoints depend where but you need to do only this once well let me show you some other cool stuff what it can do you don't necessarily need to create adjust the images also for example we can go inside the 3d and i actually can create even 3d models inside here so right here workflow it's loaded it did not ask me for the model because i already downloaded this checkpoint previously but right here i needed preloaded three images and notice right here front side and back there you go i preloaded if you're interested how to create them be sure to check my next video where we're going more in a workflows how they work here we'll look on more installations and as well i'll show you some additional tips and tricks how to do this there you go look we create this one and all what we need to do is just click this button run if you notice i do have it right here my manager installed remember for the custom node so it's meaning if you want to install custom nodes or other things you can easy to do through the manager at this point and look here we go we have it our own 3d model which is saved in our mesh on comp ui same place where you can download it and use it and we did from those three reference everything run absolutely free on google collab so remember all links and a notebook for you down below in description download it and we'll see you next time when we explore more cool stuff we can do here thank you bye